Hello everyone, and welcome to Journey of a Fat Man. It is that time of the week. It is that time of the week where I walk my fat ass out of that door into that bathroom and see if I'm a little less fat than I was the week prior. This week was, this week was a scary one. The lack of weight loss last week, which I did mainly put down to, you know, having those four takeaways, eating out things. I put that down to that. Little, little bit of my brain that was thinking, maybe, maybe, just maybe, Jay, it's now been 110 days, just maybe you have reached a plateau. Nope, absolutely chuffed to bits. I have not reached the plateau. I smashed it, I smashed this week. Whole 1.2%, which, Maddeningly enough, means that I am 51% through my goal, which is just absolutely incredible. I am halfway through a goal I thought was gonna take 365 days in 110. So if I followed this trajectory, I'd be doing it in about 66% of the time that I guessed, which is amazing. I've now reached that point where I literally, I see anyone, I see literally, I see anyone that I haven't seen in two months. The instant thing I, is, wow, Jay, you've lost so much weight. And wow, Jay, you look so good. And it makes me feel amazing. It is incredible. Cause I, I, like I look in the mirror now and I see, you know, I see a less fat dude and I'm, I'm vastly more happy with how I look and how I look in clothes specifically. Just a quick thing, now I can buy one size, one of my X's is off of my t-shirts, which is cool, which opens up a whole new range of clothes. And I've also lost six inches around the waist. So yeah, all of my other jeans, they're just falling off me now. Incredible, that's another thing I get to say. They go, Jay, your clothes are falling off you. So I've actually had to buy some clothes. I didn't want to buy some clothes until I reached goal weight. But the problem was I'm losing. My goal is so, so far down in weight compared to what I was. The clothes already are just looking ridiculous. The clothes that I was wearing before just look, they just look fucking stupid to be perfectly honest. Absolutely buzzing this week buzzing to just not reach that plateau and I honestly I think it is like this I can't say it enough I literally can't say it enough I think the five and two diet if you can you know zero in on that discipline and just tell yourself one meal for two days for two days is enough one chicken veg meal or fish and veg anything and veg that's below 600 it really is just a way to go if you're struggling with you know traditional diets and stuff if you're using a traditional diet and it's working for you do not change it if it's working for you just just keep doing that but honestly for if you were like me and you tried loads of different diets and you just couldn't get your couldn't wrap your head around just having these really small unsatisfying meals then five and two just literally just give it a go. Give it a go for two weeks. Just give it a go for two weeks and see how it affects your weight loss. Stupidly happy with this week. Absolutely buzzing. On a side note, you may have noticed there wasn't a podcast this week. Bit of a twist, but there actually was. It was just a total shit show with cameras, with recordings, with, with process. It was just, it was not great. The recordings came out terrible, the audio was terrible, and I was just not gonna put that on my channel at all. The content was great, it was just recorded and set up in just a terrible way. But we will be doing the podcast this weekend, and the guest that we had on the podcast that never was will be coming back this Saturday, so we'll have another guest. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that, and hopefully go a little bit smoother. As always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're staying motivated. Hope you're motivating each other. And I will see you next time.